And then in legislative news, talk about this for a few. So Lonnie Paxton, who I believe is the former mayor of Tuttle, is calling on the head of the state Second Amendment Association to be removed from his position after making incendiary remarks. A Senate Public Safety Chair calls for removal of OK2A leader after shameful and dangerous comments. So at an event held in Duncan last month, Spencer told the audience, we will win at the ballot box so we don't have to go to the ammo box. Paxton said the comment crossed every conceivable line of decency. I mean, he supports him still. I mean, don't, don't, don't get confused. Lonnie Paxton supports, supported and continue to support the efforts of OK2A in their goal of protecting the Second Amendment. But Mr. Spencer's words, so it's like, he put butt in there, so maybe he doesn't support him. But anyway, Mr. Spencer's words can only be seen as a direct physical threat against those candidates and office holders who they can't beat in an election. Incendiary comments like this could push someone that might be unstable over the edge, resulting in physical attacks on elected members of the legislature, Congress, or even local officials like city council and school board members. I mean, there was that, I mean, there was, there was like a, somebody that was threatening the mayor of Yukon, I think, over mask mandates last session. Anyway, I mean, Don Spencer is an absolute psycho. Uh, We clipped him of calling, you know, the anti-protest bills last session, the don't tread on me laws. Or I will tread on you laws, sorry. A play on don't tread on me. I will tread on you laws. I mean, this guy actively advocates for running over peaceful protesters who are, you know, marching in streets. I mean, obviously advocates for the ammo box over the ballot box. I mean, he, he's he's a absolute psychopath. And, like, this is who the Republican Party listens to. I mean, Lonnie Paxton had to make sure they knew, hey, I support these guys. But anyway, I mean, yeah, these guys are just... They're, they're total psychos. I mean, it's just, there's no, and, and, you know, we keep getting in bed with them. I mean, Ryan Walters will, you know, get the OK2A endorsement, right? I mean, like these guys, you know, Kevin Stitt is going to get the OK2A endorsement. So, I mean, you know, like great that Lonnie Paxton can finally release a press release attacking him. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, like, you know, how much, uh, how much blowback there is. So Storm Jones talked with Spencer. He says his remarks were taken out of context. Don Spencer is going nowhere except to the state capitol con- to continue to work. And I enjoy this so much. I would like to buy Senator, State Senator Lonnie Paxton a stake at any steakhouse he wants to mention. What a weird, what a weird response. Like, hey, we just caught you saying you would like kill people that didn't agree with you. <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, we can only uh, wonder what Don Spencer's cooking up for next session, but it's going to be gross and obnoxious. But, you know, hopefully this intra-party Republican thing will be how we can kill some of this crap because, uh, yeah, it's coming. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.